please. Bottles lager. Uh, foreign bottle lager. Trendy, expensive, poncy foreign bottle lager, please. Got you, got you. Yeah, well, we've got Sol, uh, Bex, Budvar, uh, we've got... No, 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 no. I've tried all of those. I want something even trendier and even more expensive. Ah, OK. Well, how about, then, how about Aztec lager? Brewed in the rarefied atmosphere of the upper slopes of the hills around Guadalajara in Mexico. It comes complete with the piece of lime sticking in the top. You must, of course, drink it ice cold straight out of the bottle. Hmm, interesting. Three pounds fifty. Three pounds fifty? That's far too cheap. None of me mates will be impressed by that. OK, OK. <laughs> then have you tried Venezuelan beer? Now, this is Caracas Don Amici del Pedro del Cuero hasta la mañana light. Uh, this comes <laughs> with the uh, salt round the rim and the piece of lime sticking in the neck of this rather small but extremely trendily designed bottle of which the label alone will cost you four pounds. Very nice. <clears throat> but I've already tried it. Ah, OK. Well, in that case, how about Bosphorus Turkish steam lager in the half litre and four? <laughs> Now, this one you have to drink at minus 20 degrees centigrade, but it does come with a piece of lime, two halves of grapefruit, a slice of melon, four shish kebabs, and a heaped teaspoonful of banana Nesquik. You drink it down in one, then you smash the bottle against the wall, and it's £10.50 a fluid ounce. Mm, not really fancy enough. I can see you're a hard man to please, but the really fashionable bottled beer to be drinking at the moment is this. Outer Mongolian goat beer. <laughs> Uh, it has to be drunk at absolute zero. It comes, of course, with the piece of lime and a four-foot length of yak's intestines dug in the top. <laughs> when you're finished, you eat the bottle as part of a calorie control diet and then organise a revolt against communist rule. They sell that stuff in pizza land. OK. <laughs> well, they definitely don't sell this. This is Kuwaiti lager. <laughs> yeah, well, it looks strong. And you have to drink it straight out of the bottle. In fact, if you even ask me for a glass, I am allowed to shoot you. Oh, yeah. I can see you're a bit of a connoisseur, a bit of a connoisseur, so I can offer you the ultimate. Ukrainian Chernobyl lager. <laughs> 500 pounds a bottle, but you do get a hangover with a half-life of 10,000 years. Now, this is the stuff. Mmm. Tastes just like ordinary draft lager. Well, of course it does. They all do. What do you expect? Mm, the top's all dirty. Can I have a glass? 